Hey, Shalom. All right, first off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Chak, Wadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Peace, grace, and mercy be upon the house of David, the Bayath Dawada, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. And double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. Honor, salutations, and blessings to the men that are preaching the gospel of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai in all sincerity, all diligence, and in all truth. All right, uh, so I uh, just want to get into a lesson, Lord willing. It is uh, edifying to the elect who we endure all things for through the spare and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and this uh, lesson is going to be uh, entitled The uh, Self Inflicted Wounds Shouldn't Happen to a uh, Spiritual Man, all right, or a Man of the Lord. All right, and. Um, you know, uh, self-inflicted wounds, meaning, you know, things that, uh, you know, circumstances that happen are, are you know, stress or, you know, dis distress or things that happen in, 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 in your life that you could avoid it or you are you cost on yourself. OK, things of that nature, like, let's say, for instance, um, losing your job because you always going to work late. All right. Or, you know, uh, uh, um, getting your license suspended because you got a ticket. That you didn't pay for it or are you are you supposed to go to court and you didn't go all right so your license gets suspended all right um you know not having money for your bills because you uh buying alcohol you know every weekend okay are you you being a drunkard things of that things of that nature things of that uh, uh circumstances like that shouldn't happen often you know to a uh to a man of the lord okay now of course you know we all slip we all in the flesh but so there's going to be times where there's things that, you know, uh, uh, we do that we could have avoided. OK, but uh, all in all, man, and when those things happen, you're supposed to learn from those things. You're supposed to get the experience and grow from those in those things, man, especially, you know, being in this truth. All right. Aside from just being uh, uh, having maturity, period. OK, but being in this truth to bring you to a different level of wisdom all right a higher level of wisdom higher level of maturity and a higher level of discipline okay you're supposed to be disciplined you know uh, 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 being a man of the lord all right because you're supposed to gain a uh, wisdom knowledge and understanding and that's supposed to bring you uh discipline it's supposed to bring you patience it's supposed to bring uh bring you uh self-control okay so a lot of the things you know a lot of uh, uh self-inflicted wounds happen because uh, men are not disciplined. They're not. They don't have self-control. Okay, and they don't. Uh, and they lack wisdom. All right. They lack. They lack the application of wisdom. All right. Applying wisdom. You know. Uh, when. When. It, it, it's needed. Okay. So. Um, you know. I just wanted to get a few scriptures on that, man. And you know, exhort. You know, the uh, the brothers. You know, because we're supposed to be uh, kingdom-minded, man. Are right? we supposed to have a kingship mentality? All right. And having a kingship mentality. You know, if you. If you can't rule your own life, all right, you can't rule your own self, how are you going to expect Yahweh Shai to crown you and give you authority to rule over uh, over the 12 tribes and rule over uh, the world, man? All right? We got to you got to be able to rule over your own self first, man. All right? That's why Paul talked about, you know, a a a, a bishop, he's supposed to have his house in order, okay? He's supposed to have his house in order, all right? Uh um and that house starts with you, your own self, man. Okay, but if you are self-inflicting wounds upon upon your uh, own own you know life and uh, 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 body or mind or you know whatever, then then that means that you're not living you know according to the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You're not walking spiritual, man. You being carnal, all right. And ultimately, that carnality, you know, if the Lord doesn't have mercy upon you, that carnality is going to lead to your destruction. It's going to lead to your death. Okay, so this is a uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. 18 verse 27 it says a wise man will fear in everything and in the day of sinning he will be aware of offense but a fool will not observe the time okay and now when it says a wise man will fear in everything meaning what not being scared but will will be aware will be cautious will be circumspect in everything that they do all right that's what a wise man is going to do man a wise man is not going to be you know uh, airheaded man a wise man is not going to you know, uh, do things, uh, move off of off of carnality, move off of just emotions. All right, move off of immaturity. 
but they're going to be uh, they're going to beware be beware in everything that they do. It says even in a day of sinning, he will beware of his uh, of offense. Why? Because of course, as the scripture says that we all fall short, and it also says that the righteous man falls seven times, but what? But rises again. So even in the day of sinning, that you're going to be aware of offense. Okay, and you're not going to do what? You're going to repent, and you're going to uh, be sorrowful unto repentance, and you're going to uh, uh, you're going to you know uh, uh, try to excel and try to you know get better, man. Not adding sin onto sin. Not saying, oh, just because I, I did this sin, I might as well continue to keep sinning. All right, that's going to add self-inflicting wounds upon you, man. Okay, so it says, but the fool will not observe the time. Will not observe uh, time. Meaning, the fool is not even going to be aware. Of the uh, uh, of of the things that are happening around them, they're not going to be circumspect, right? They're not going to be uh, uh, cautious and cognizant of the self-inflicting wounds that they're putting on themselves, man. Okay, knowing that you know if you, if you gotta go to work, you know you gotta wake up early to go to work, that you shouldn't be, you know, getting uh, uh, overly drunk, man. All right, and then to the point where you can't wake up the next morning, or if you do wake up and, and then you know you uh. You are uh, you out of it, whatever, and then that's going to affect your job. And then what? You know, you you get fired, and then you want to cry about, oh, I'm catching hell, I'm catching hell, yo, this place is wicked. Well, you know, as a spiritual man, as a, as a man that's supposed to be, you know, a, a discipline, you know that you shouldn't be doing certain things, man. Okay, you know, going uh, being around people of the world uh, too much, all right, being an abuser of the world. And then you end up getting caught up in the folly and in and, and, and in the uh in the judgments that they catch and then you wanna you wanna complain or you wanna say, Oh, I'm catching hell. But that was a self-inflicted wound, man. You should be around more spiritual minded people. You should be around people that are uh, that's gonna, you know, uh, steer you in the in the in the right direction, man. Be amongst the brotherhood. Okay? Not being a bunch around a, a bunch of niggas, man. That, that doesn't mind the, the, the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because if you're around that flock, all right, if you're around that type of people, what's going to happen? All right, you're going to end up doing the, the, the same things and being caught up in the same mannerism as those people. As those people. And, and, and what's coming to the wicked, what's coming to the people that don't, you know, have their mind on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, judgment, man. Okay? So I'm going to jump to verse uh, 30. It says, go not after thy lusts, but refrain thyself from thine appetites. Okay, yeah. Don't go, don't give yourselves until you know your lust, man. Don't yield your members until trying to please the flesh all day, every day, man. Okay? You're supposed to once again be spiritual. You're supposed to bring into, into subjection, all right, your your members, man. Bring into subjection, you know, those uh those uh, uh evil thoughts, okay? And it, and they might not even be evil to the point of like, you know, you uh, actually breaking breaking the law, statute, commandments. But it might be evil until you know it's not beneficial. Okay. Now, of course, you know sometimes we might end up doing uh, vanity things, things that are vanity that that are not necessarily uh, uh, wicked. But you shouldn't give yourselves unto those lusts. That shouldn't be always consuming your mind because the scriptures tells you that a man. Uh, uh, um, a man of wisdom gain gaineth learning by leisure, right? So if you if you are supposed to be, you know, a spiritual man, you're supposed to be a man of the Lord. Then you wanna your your main focus is supposed to to be gaining a more wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Okay, storing up treasures in heaven because the evil days are are approaching, man. Redeeming the times because the days are evil. Okay, not not giving yourselves into thine appetites because that's ultimately going to. Do what? It's going to uh, it's going to uh, um, cause self-inflicted wounds. Okay, it says, verse thirty-one. Move that up here. Verse thirty-one. If thou givest thy soul the desires that pleases her, meaning what? The body, the flesh. All right. That's why we're supposed to be. We're supposed to uh, uh, renew our minds and conform our minds to the perfect will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Why? Because then we're going to seek to do the things that please the Lord and not the things that are pleasing our flesh. All right. Then we're going to, as Yahweh Shah said, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all of its righteousness. So that's the thing that's supposed to be top priority, man. But if you are, are doing things that are trying to please the flesh, if you are doing things that are, you know, uh, 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 too much caught up in this world, you're going to have self-inflicted wounds, man. You're going to you're going to uh, uh, cause more 
cause more hell upon yourself. And the scripture tells you, Lord, will I get that, that nobody's going to pity that person, man. You're not going to pity, uh, um, the, the, you're not going to pity the charmer that is bitten, right? So it says, if, if, uh, if thou givest thy desires that please, it's like, if thou givest thy soul the desires that please her, she will make thee a laughing stock to thine enemies that malign thee, okay? So if you give your, if you give yourself to the, to the lust of your flesh, all right, if that's what your main focus is on, then you're going to become a laughing stock, man, especially if you are supposedly uh, supposed to be in this truth because you can't do both man you can't do both okay that's why hey the lord even said it man that a, a person that uh, uh um doesn't count the cost they're gonna end up being what they're gonna be uh, end up being mocked you gotta count the cost man you gotta put this as your as, uh, as your top priority all right denying yourself yahweh shai said that okay any man that doesn't deny himself is not worthy of him Hey, and that's really for your for your benefit too, because yeah, if we catch hell for the namesake of Yahweh Shai, that's a blessing. That's a, something that you rejoice in, okay? If you catching hell for this truth's sake, you know you trying to walk the straight path, you trying to walk the narrow path, and you catching hell because of that, then that's something that you rejoice in because that means that you're a partakers of 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 the sufferings of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. But if you catching hell because you being immature, because you not uh, being temperate. Meaning self-control, okay? If you uh, are too hasty with your words, okay? If you catching hell for these things, man, that shows you a lack of a lack of maturity, and it shows a lack of spirituality, man. All right, and that shouldn't be happening to a man of the Lord. Now, of course, it might happen to a, a, a babe in this truth, somebody that's you know a couple months in. But if you been in this thing for for years, okay, these things, these certain things shouldn't be happening to you, man. All right, certain things should not be. Should not uh, be a consistent problem in your life Alright So let me uh, go to the next scripture This is um, It's a book of uh, 2 Timothy Chapter 2 Verse uh, 22 It says Flee also youthful lusts Okay Youthful lusts Now that goes You know That can be You know uh, Broken down two ways Alright well, really, really uh, one way Because the youthful lust Not speaking more so in, uh, uh, Speaking more so like in, in age But applying it to a spiritual Right? Applying it to spiritual When you young in this thing You're youthful So you, you still are, are putting away the old man But when you are, you know, more seasoned in, the, in this truth, okay? You've been in it for a few years, whatever Okay? You shouldn't be you shouldn't be still dealing with the same, uh, you know, demons or old man problems that you had when you first came into this thing, man. Because that means that you didn't put away the new man, all right? And those self-inflicted wounds, <laughs> you didn't, you didn't uh, bring those under subjection, man. Those things that were, were, that you were doing when you were, you know, in the world, all right? Or things that you were doing when you first came into the truth, that means you didn't grow, you didn't get gain experience from the uh the scourges that those things brought that those uh, uh things brought man because look you 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 uh you know for instance you uh uh drinking in excess eventually is going to it's going to scourge you man eventually something's going to happen whether it be your body okay you you might start throwing up blood okay or whether it be when you get a hey, scripture and the scriptures tells you man all right that the wine uh uh uh, uh, uh wine you know, is a mocker and strong drink is a rage of a man. Okay. Now, if you got into issues where you've been drink, you've been overly drunken, or you've been drunken, whatever, and you've you've acted out. Okay. And it ended up getting you physically harmed or mentally harmed, or, or uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, yeah, physically physically harmed, or whatever, or might end up costing you financial distress. Okay. You should have. Grow from, you should have grew from that, man. You should have understood and gained wisdom from that situation. All right? And that's just one example. Okay? That's just one example. But there's many examples where brothers shouldn't be doing things that they were doing back when they first came into this truth, man. Or back when they was in the world. All right? So it says flee from youthful lust. Meaning get rid of those things. Go move on from those things, man. Grow up. Okay? We already got... Hey, the Lord said it, man. That evil, the uh, uh, the the days, ev uh, the evilness, shalak, uh, 
that each day has, you know, uh, not, not verbatim, but each day has enough evil in it, man. Okay? Each day has enough evil in it. So to you to be adding more evil, meaning bad times, uh, uh, self-inflicted wounds upon your uh, own own life, that just shows the lack of uh, that just shows the lack of spirituality, man. All right. Hey, the Lord said that in this world we gonna have we gonna have trouble, man. But be of good cheer that we overcame the world. Okay. You know the, the, that the shalak, the be of good cheer that He overcame the world. So we're supposed to be establishing in, in, in Him, man. We're supposed to be seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and meditating upon the Lord these these words, all right, the Comforter, as much as possible. You know, hey, even you know, brothers get uh, 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 down, brothers get uh, you know depressed sometimes, okay. But the Lord gave us the the medicine for that depression, man, which is the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. That's why it's called the comforted. Now, if you are not going back to these words, if you're not get, getting, uh, you know, uh, having your, 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 uh, you know, doing your due diligence and studying and reading, okay, you know, seeking the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, then you're not going, you're not going to get the comfort. So then here it is, you talking about you depressed, you depressed, you depressed, but the, you're not seeking a the comforter, then you adding self-inflicted wounds upon upon your life, man, because. We're going to be depressed in this world because we're not of this world. But the Lord gave us the gave us the the the, the quote unquote you know the I say the probiotics. I ain't gonna say antibiotic. The Lord gave us the probiotic, man, the pro life, which is what this word, man. So you shouldn't be always down and depressed 24/7. That means that you're not seeking a comforter, and that's another self-inflicted wound that is not necessary, man. Okay. So it says, flee from youthful lust. But follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart, out of a pure heart. So these are the things that we're supposed to uh, follow after, man. The fruits of the spirit. Okay? The fruits of the spirit. That's why we rejoice in the Lord. Alright, as I uh, uh, believe Peter said it, rejoice in the Lord. Okay? We're supposed to rejoice in the Lord, rejoice in the prophecies, rejoice that you know this truth. Rejoice that. You know that 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 you have the understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in these scriptures, man. Okay, that you know, you know who your power is. That you know what that why we're here. Okay, knowing, okay, having knowledge is is a, is a form of peace in itself, man. Because when all hell breaks loose, people are gonna be bugging out because they have no understanding. They have no knowledge. That's why Isaiah 33 and 6 says that for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding shall be the stability of thy times. Okay, but here it is. You know. You catching hell that you put upon yourself, and you not, and you not, <laughs> you not, uh, uh, you not being aware uh, uh, of why you catching hell. That means that you lack wisdom, man. All right, you trying to blame, you trying to blame uh, uh, Esau for, for uh, uh, you know uh, his unrighteous decrees, which he does. Okay, Esau not getting getting left off the hook from his uh, unrighteous decrees, but yet here it is, you, you get your license suspended. Because you don't pay a ticket, well, you nigga, you know that you so if you got a ticket and you don't pay it, what's gonna happen? All right. So certain things, certain things are, are unnecessary to uh to have to deal with, man. Okay. So let me go back. This is um Ecclesiasticus 14, verse 11. It says, My son, according to thy ability, do good to thyself and give the Lord his due offering. All right. So according to the abil ability, do good unto yourself, man. All right. Meaning if you have, you know, you have a job, whatever. All right. And your job is, is paying, you know, the, the money that you you got to budget your money so you can uh, pay for your bills. Do good unto yourself, man. Don't 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 uh, uh, splurge your money and then cry about you know, my lights went off. You're not doing good unto yourself, man. OK, I don't I don't uh, um, you know that. You know, you shouldn't be driving drunk, okay? And I, hey, I, I'll say for myself, man, I've been guilty of that, all right? You know, driving, uh, you know, uh, tired or, you know, a little intoxicated, whatever. That's not doing good to yourself, man. Because if the Lord, <laughs> the Lord don't got to have mercy upon you, man, okay? That's a form of tempting the Lord. When you, when you, you know, you know, you, you are cognizant, aware that 
you know, you shouldn't be doing certain things. And like I said before, man, being in the truth, we got to live and we got to, uh, uh, we are at a higher standard, man. We're supposed to be kingdom, uh, king, have a kingship mentality, man. Kings don't, kings are, don't have, kings don't have the, the leisure or the pleasure to do things that common, that the common folk do, man. Okay. Kings that have to always be in a king mode. You can't, you can't just say, you know, I want to be a common man today. You know, I want to be, uh, uh. I just want to, you know, do some folly like a common person. No, man, you got a, uh, uh, you have a, a, a kingdom to to, to uh, reside over, man. Okay, you got a kingdom to reside over, so you got to do according to your according to your ability, do good into yourself, man. Okay, which will lessen the self-inflicted wounds, you know that happens, and that's being spiritually minded. All right, um, what was that one? I think there's one down here. Yep. Uh, going down to verse 20 in Ecclesiastes, the 14th chapter. Blessed is the man that doeth meditate good things in wisdom and that reasoneth of holy things by his understanding. See, this is what we're supposed to be meditating on, man. The good things in wisdom. Okay. As the scripture says, man, if you draw unto the Lord, draw nigh unto the Lord, he would draw nigh unto you. All right. Flee from the uh, resist the devil and he shall flee from you. Okay, because guess what? Always put in self-inflicted wounds. If you always are in are in circumstances or issues or problems that you could have avoided that was self-inflicting, that's a demon, man. Straight up and down. That's a demon that that is plaguing you. All right. And you didn't and you didn't pray. You know, you're not uh, praying that the Lord uh, gets rid of that demon. You're not exercising that demon. You giving yourself until that. Uh, you giving yourself until the lust of that demon, man. And that demon is only looking to uh, sift you or destroy you. Okay. So you're supposed to meditate on things uh, of of good of good things and wisdom, man, and and reason holy things by his understanding. All right, the pure things. All right, the things that's going to separate you from the ways of this world, man. Not the things that's going to make you more. Uh, 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 accustomed or uh, make you more like this world all right people people are, that's in this world they deal with you know uh have being drunkards man okay people that don't have your shy they deal with the demons of being uh uh you know being uh uh, uh, uh hasty in, in 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 the spirit hasty in the mouth okay or being lazy you know not wanting to take care of their responsibilities man those are things that people of this world that don't have your shy deal with men of this truth Okay, men that are supposed to be kingdom uh, kingdom minded, all right, having a kingship mentality, we shouldn't have to deal with those things often, man, because we're spiritual and we know that what we gotta have patience, we gotta have self control, okay, we gotta have uh, temperance, we gotta have uh, 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 being uh, bringing our um, bringing our uh, sub, uh, our our members under subjection, man, okay, that's something that we're supposed to embody. Because the Lord said that what well, we are the light of the world, so we're supposed to we're supposed to be represent representatives of Yahweh Shai, right? We're supposed to be representatives of Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai wasn't out here uh, causing self-inflicted wounds up, uh, upon his upon his life, man. Okay, you know, all his all his afflictions came from what doing the will of Yahweh, all right, doing the will of his father, man, and that's the same thing that should happen with us. Okay, this is um, Book of Ephesians. Bear with me one second. Book of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. It says, It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. All right? Walk circumspectly. Know, know first and foremost, all right, know yourself. All right? As Paul said, all right? Examine yourself. Walk circumspectly. Know what you should be doing and you shouldn't be doing. Know what you know what you should avoid and what you could and what you and what you shouldn't uh, avoid man all right know what's good for you all right and what's not good for you know you're not your own selves all right so it says seeing that you walk circumspectly not as fools because a fool don't know man a fool just a fool he just gonna do whatever he's gonna try, just please his flesh or whatever all right he's gonna just uh whatever he thinks is in, in his own mind is right he's gonna do and the scripture tells you that what a fool, uh, uh, you know, in his own mind, you know, uh, uh, basically, a fool in his own uh, mind, um, Shalakia, the, 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 the scriptures are avoiding my memory right now, 
But uh, um, basically, it says that a man's heart, he's uh, hes in, he's, let me just get it. <laughs> it's a lock here. It's out of the book of Proverbs 14, verse 12. It says, there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof is death. All right? Yeah, so there's a, a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof is death. And that, and that type of man is a what? A foolish man. Okay? Because the scriptures tells you that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Okay? So as a righteous man, as a man of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh as a spiritual man, you're supposed to walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. All right? So let me go back to that. Ephesians 5 verse 15 See then that ye walk circumspect, uh, circumspectly Not as fools but as wise Redeeming the times because the days are evil Wherefore be ye not unwise But be understanding so like, But understanding in, the, in what is the will of the Lord so like, But understanding what the will of Yahweh is So that's what we're supposed to be doing man We're supposed to be uh, wise In understanding what the will of the Lord is and the will of the Lord is what? To feed the sheep, okay? Uh, 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 fear the Lord, keep his commandments, and edify and feed the sheep, man. That's what our number one focus, our number one mind priority should be on, okay? And if you, if that's your number one focus, if that's what you are meditating on day after day, then the self-inflicting wounds will be spare, uh, 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 sparingly, man. Or the self-inflicting wounds will be few and far between, okay? Because you're doing the will of the Lord. So you won't you won't even have the, the a lot of times to be out here you know being idle because as a, as the world as the saying in the world goes the idle mind is is the devil's playground and once again those self inflicted wounds are demons man okay so let me get a few see what else I got. Uh yeah let me just get one more and I'll close it out. It's the book of uh. Proverbs chapter 12 verse uh, 15 The way of a fool is right in his own eyes But he that hearkens unto counsel is wise Alright and that's where it comes What comes in is being around a brotherhood man Alright If you're around a brotherhood Then you're going to get be around good counsel So even if you know You think that something is right You know uh, uh, to yourself But if you get a good counsel from, from your brothers Then what? Then you're going to see the understanding Because they're going to give you counsel from the Lord man they're going to give you counsel from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in the scriptures. But the way of a fool is right in his own eyes. So a fool is going to say, oh, you know, I'm good. I can I can drive drunk. Or oh, I'm good. I don't got to go to work today. I don't got to go to work tomorrow. I don't got to go to work this whole week. Okay? But if you're around good counsel, if you uh, surround yourself around brothers that are in the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, around godly men, then they're going to correct you. They're going to rebuke you. And they're going to reprove you unto righteousness, man. Okay? And that's and that's and that's why it's key to be amongst the brotherhood too, because like how I said before, the heart is deceitful above all things, man. All right, and that's why also, and when you're not around a brotherhood, you should you should be meditating upon these scriptures, upon the Comforter, because what <laughs> the, the Comforters correct you, man. The scriptures correct you. The, the scriptures rebuke you. All right, so yeah, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying to the elect. All praise honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hey, self-inflicted wounds. Uh, that's of carnal minded, man. Be spiritual. All right, walk walk circumspectly, okay, and redeem uh, redeeming the times because the days are evil. So with that, shalom.